back to my channel I do hope you're doing well now we have a healthy version today we have a take on a burrito bowl so you know me I love burritos I love wraps I love enchiladas but we're gonna do it without the wrap so I went on good old BBC good food and I thought you know what because we're trying to be getting into the healthy mindset and everything like that I thought let's try and find a hearty dish that is hopefully going to taste good and looks good. And I saw this chipotle and lime prawn burrito bowl. And I don't know about you guys, I thought that that looked gorgeous. I mean, our bowls don't seem to be as big as that, so we're going to have to see how it goes. But the only thing I had to do prior was pickle the onions, which I'll speak about after, and just cook some rice. And then it's pretty much just building it as... I don't know, building it as a big burrito bowl. I was thinking possibly to put it on a plate because it said 250 grams of rice. So I cooked 250 grams of rice. But you'll see in the overview, that is a lot of rice. And bear in mind, it's only 75 grams per person. So I'm like, there's an extra 100 grams of rice there. We're going to go with it. I have got the bowls out, but depending on how... I don't think looking at this, I feel like you put the rice in the middle, it says, and then you put the prawns and that on top, and then everything just kind of goes around the side. So I don't actually know whether the bowl would work or whether I will put it on the plate. I'm not entirely sure yet, but yeah, it'll be a lot of like time lapses, I think, of cutting the food and then you'll see mum, we'll have a chit chat along the way and see how it goes for a burrito bowl. I am in a nightie because I was under my electric blanket, but now my legs are a little cold, so I'm feeling like I want to go and put some joggers on. But um, hey ho, let's get in with a chipotle and lime prawn burrito bowl. Hopefully this works and the oven's not even got to be touched. The oven is not even in use but how good was them brownies if you saw the baking video the first baking video with the new oven insane absolutely insane right let's get on with proper food <laughs> put my dressing gown on mum is here so we're going to take it in turns with what needs to be cut and prepared yes but first can we have both limes zested and then we just cut them in half and juice them that way right, okay. and i'm going to get started the skin, on it? the prawns right, yeah okay so the prawns i want to do first because it gives them a bit time to marinate so what i had to do first off cook the rice the recipe does say just any leftover rice, but we got brown for it to be more healthy. And then I pickled the red onion. This was in apple cider vinegar and honey because I didn't have sugar. So that's going to be like a bit, I think that'll be like when we go wasabi. And oh, you get yeah. like the pickled red onion. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I think, don't quote me on that. So drain the prawns. Was this the right size as well? 125 grams? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drain the king prawns. And then I've just got a little bowl just to put them in. You need two teaspoons. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Of chipotle chilli paste. No wonder the girl was laughing. Because you know what sweet. I said to her? What? I said, have you got any chipolata paste? She goes, uh, do you mean chipotle? I said, yeah, something like that. That's quite sweet, actually. Oh, it's like a barbecue, isn't yeah. it? So she said, yeah, which one do you want over here? The lazy one or the... Whatever's cheaper. Yeah, I said, oh. She said, this one, I think, was £1.05. £1.50, this was. Oh, was it? So I said, oh, that's all right. So she said, I said, well, thank you for me, uh, your thing. And then when I asked her about the uh, apple cider vinegar, she said, well, that's £7.50. She said, but that cider vinegar, she said, that made with apples, isn't it? I said, well, I must check my daughter, I said, because she's doing the do. And this lady, she went, 
are you having a last dinner tonight? I said, yeah. She said, oh. <laughs> so it's two teaspoons of the chipotle, one teaspoon of olive oil, and then half a teaspoon of honey. So it looks like that, which isn't most appetising. But by the time I give it a little fish around, is it just coating the bronzing? Yeah, this is oh, like right. the seasoning for I guess it. what's on tonight? What? Uh, Batman, 100 to 1. You know he asks 100 people questions and it makes it as if you're the brainiest person in England. It's Didn't the they used to series. do that with um, people singing 100 to 1? No, no, this, this is a, it's a comedian. He's hosting it. If you know what mum's going on about, guys. Yeah. It's a new series tonight. Okay. I remember where they used to have 100 people and people would sing and they'd put their lights on. Oh, it's similar to that. But it's how smart you are. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so this is the prawns. It does just smell very sweet. It is very barbecue-y. <coughs> oh, yes, lovely. It's not spicy. No, I know. It's just nice barbecue-y. And then I've just got to add in. Get that one first, then. I've done one. Right, so I only need half of oh, them. The other bit is that. So just come on doing the other one. Yeah, yeah, I just need, can you just pop that in half? Because I've just got a zip. Well, cut this one in half. Just because I've oh. got to squeeze this one. Okay. And then I zest that. Maybe don't go so much down to the white. Oh, well, because I, I think that's sharp in it if you go to the white. Oh, I don't know. That's the pit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I think I need the other half. Oh, well, there you go. So, yeah, I think with this type of burrito bowl, you could literally do it. Do you still want me to do the other? Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going for the rice, I think. Okay. You could literally right. do this with, like, chicken, salmon. You could even do it with steak. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, so what I'll do, I'll do one and I'll move the lime round. Yeah. All right, okay. I think it's very versatile, and a burrito bowl, in essence... You can put whatever you want on a burrito bowl. I'm gonna... And I, I saw in that book you got for the uh, the fryer, yeah, you can do salmon. Yeah, see, guys, you have to let us know about doing like fish and meats in the air fryer. Yes, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm still a little bit dubious. I don't know. It said 12 minutes. If you do your meat and fish, let us know. Because I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I don't know. Let's bring you down for a little time lapse just while we get the rice sorted and then we can have another uh, chicken. Mummy's like aggressively attacking the line there. <laughs> on spring onion jewelry i am going to do the avocado <laughs> mum's not really a fan mm -hmm. of avocado mm -hmm. but i can't actually remember the last time i cut an avocado so this should be fun oh god almost sliced me hand that's a great start not that way shannon yeah and okay god, that's right. oh guys i've just lost me um cut mark oh no there it is but aren't you supposed to do it and then bang it and the and the, the thing comes out the middle? No, you should oh. do it like this and then it just falls open. Oh, well done. That you is like... a good ripe avocado. Did you learn that in coping college? No, it's not. Oh, bring it. And then now it's just slicing me. So, oh, guys, do you scoop the avocado? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, I think you do, John. No, I think you just very roughly... Oh, 
because it's got it's got to look aesthetic, hasn't it? It's got to look aesthetic. Pop it up. We ain't done too bad. We ain't done too bad. Let's bring you down for this one and just see it like plop. So now the tomatoes, everything is very finely chopped with these burrito bowls. That's what you'll notice, like everything is so, it's got to be like minuscule. So it's cut, 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 isn't it? Yeah, it's got right. to literally be minuscule, minuscule, minuscule. Right. And then I will, let's pop you, there you are. I will now drain the sweet corn. I much prefer cans that are a ring lid. Why can they not all be a ring lid? This should oh, be the way forward. Yeah. This should be the way forward because, you know, like when I go to the log cabins, if I take anything in a tin, like the beans and sausages, what a palaver was that this year because the can openers they have are like, you know the proper ones with the big wheels and the clamps on? Oh, God, yeah. I can't work them. So it's like you have to put, I can't work them. I'm um, like, no, I can't do it. Have they not got electric can openers there then? I don't, no, I don't think there's ever been an electric one. Oh, right. And yeah, I struggle every time. So we've just got to put a handful of the spring onions in with the rice. I said, this is a lot of rice for two people, but this was yeah. the measurement. Oh, was it? Yeah. You, you sure there wasn't a, a zero on it, Shannon? No, 250 grams of leftover rice. No, it, it meant the zero were not on it. It meant to be 25 grams. No, I don't think BBC oh. Good Food have oh, got right. it wrong. Oh, right. But um, yeah, I was a bit like, oh. This is a lot of rice, so um, safe to say we'll probably be having rice tomorrow. I'm sure we've got something in the freezer we can get out with rice. What have we got left meat-wise? Sausages. Chops. Gammon steak and rice. Oh yeah, that do. <laughs> we try and be a bit healthy. We are actually out tomorrow. We're going to the Dali exhibition. Yeah. Which I think you'll see end of March, early April. So normally we go out and eat out in London and yes. it keeps costing a fortune. But we have a lot of meals coming up, so I don't think we need to eat uh, again no, tomorrow. No, no, what we say, eh? Are, are we getting the gammon out tonight? We'll have gammon and rice. <laughs> no, but if we need a snack, Shan. Yeah, but the only places nearby is a Lebanese place, which I don't know oh, if you're going to like. No, no. And I don't think you're going to want to pay £9.50 for a bowl of hummus. No, no, I ain't. No. <laughs> so I think tomorrow yeah, it will be a yeah. uh, eat at home. So yeah, you'll see the Dali vlog then, but... Yeah, tomorrow is going to be, be because what, when to, what's the first uh, exhibition? I mean, our outing. Do you have a tomato? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, the first actual eatery one is in May. We're going to Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, is it May? Yeah. So uh, let's try a bit. Of tomorrow surprise. we're going to the exhibition, aren't we? Yeah. Right. Next Sunday you're going to see Rob. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then. We can start getting on to the, uh, the days out and that, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit sharp with lime. Oh, is that all <laughs> What can you put with that in it? I put too much, sorry. We'll just give it a choke on the zest. Right. <laughs> no, we're pretty much fully booked up for summer, Mum. Yeah, well, right, well. And plus, viewers, the barnet's coming off. Yeah, I've booked. So one of Mum's treats I've booked her in in May to get her hair done so that will be i won't be able to vlog it because i'll be at work but we'll do like a little mini video like a transformation of mum and you know what i've got to be done viewers because we're going to the shard for champagne that dada bought me and we're going to uh afternoon tea at harrods that was one that that you bought wasn't it no was that was it you or dada i bought the shard 
Der er et bog af nogle tag. Åh, oh, der, der, der er et bog af nogle tag. Ja. Åh. Oh. Det er man dog ikke så lavt af. Hvordan er sådan noget? Kan vi lave pikkod? Og du kan lave pikkod med. Og på det side er det vigtigt at have en hånd. So now it is literally a case of constructing these balls. I think maybe uh, da da. You know when you was talking the other day, maybe I'm a bit little bit because I think he's maybe gonna try and sort of curb his ways and try and come out because in London, but mm-hmm. it's gonna be very tempting, isn't it? You know. You'll never get da da in London. No. He don't like London. He don't like no, London. No, but but I just thought the way you spoke to you the other day, I thought we're getting a breakthrough. No, because. So mine and Dada's birthday yeah. is a week apart. Yeah. So we're gonna go get a cab into Lakeside. He's finding cabs. It's yeah. just public transport. So the week the weekend before my birthday, sorry, me and Mum are going up London to another Marco Pierre White restaurant. One that we haven't been to before. This one is in Whitechapel. Oh White oh, Chapel. New one. Called Chop House. So me and mum are going, that's for like a pre-birthday dinner for me. And then me, mum and Dada are going to go to Les Iguanas in Lakeside because that's the Mexican that um, dad wanted to go to. And that is going to be like a joint birthday meal. And I said to him, I said, if you could be on public transport, you could come (coughs) to London with me and mum. And he was like, I don't want to go to London. I said, but all the nice restaurants are there. He was like, I don't care. I'm happy with the restaurants we've got around here. He's not a London person. No, because that way then he's saying he couldn't be trusted. But if somebody barged into him and he'd yeah, have a drink, he'd kick off. So yeah, yeah. he just he won't even entertain London. So that yeah. does me fine because we yeah, like London. Yeah. And then he just stays in the more local like, anywhere we can go to in a cab that's not going to cost an arm and a leg. And, and, and also, it wouldn't be fair on us because you'd be on edge and I'd be on edge. That we get on the tube and someone barges into him and he he beats seven bells out of him, isn't he? Well, right, had a drink, and let's construct these bowls because it's yeah. all here. The only thing we've got to do is construct it and then put a dollar oh. of creme fraiche to the side. Oh, right. The only thing we don't have is chilli flakes because we don't like chilli. No. And no fresh coriander, so we're just going to leave yeah. it as it is. But let's get constructing these bowls, get the prawns out of the fridge, yeah. and let's get going. <laughs> if you can hear whirring we are back in transfer stage so i don't know what to eat this with fork or spoon mum seems to think a fork so we're gonna go with it and i think the whole point of this is literally you die from like the meat and the rice in the middle and then just add like so you scoop bits in i think i think that is the whole point right so i'm gonna like scoop a bit of the rice oh the rice is at the bottom yeah with the prawn right yeah Oh, and then okay. try and get a bit of creme fraiche with onion. I think that will be my first. Very, <laughs> it's coming. This is a very messy dinner, guys. Okay, apologies. Oh, I like the prawns. And that pickled red onion. Oh, is that nice? What did you have on your mouthful for your scoop? Uh, I've had sweet corn, uh, the cream stuff. Now I've got a prawn and uh, sweet corn or something. So now I'm going to go in onion, avocado and sweet corn with rice. 
The prawns are just like a... What's that thing I said? Barbecue, isn't they? Yeah. That is a very perfectly ripe avocado. It is a little bit of a kick, but it's all right for, for me. I wouldn't say this yeah. is spicy, spicy. Oh, I'd say it's got a little bit on the prawn. Yeah? Yeah, but it's all right. I think it's more chipotle, like a smoky. Mm. If it is spicy, the creme fraiche, I think, is what's there to... Cool it down. Mm. So now let's go with tomato, rice, sweet corn, prawn, and creme fraiche. We'll get some more pickled. I really like this pickled onion. And I don't normally like pickles or anything pickled. But what, what did you do? You put the cider vinegar on it. It says cider vinegar and sugar. You I know didn't what, have sugar, you so know I You know why it seems a bit plain to me? Guess what I ain't got on it? Salt. There was salt and pepper in the rice. Oh, is there? And I've not put any garlic in it. Oh, right, okay. I've got to really try and start getting away from that salt and all. Well, I don't this whole that... bowl... Bearing in mind, I haven't used the full rice. The rice, we've not even used half of the recommendation. So if we'd have had the full rice, which it said like 250 grams, so 125 each, it's still under 600 calories. Oh. You could have three of these a day. One's enough, isn't it? No, but I'm saying for your calorie amount. Oh, right. But with them, as I say, because it's like... The toppings and that, I would say it's fully customizable. Yeah, just change what you want to change, isn't it? So, if you want to do it with like chicken, I think steak would be really nice and salmon in this. Salmon, yeah. Mm. Raw salmon or cooked salmon? Cooked. Okay. You could even probably change the type of dressing if you didn't want chipotle but obviously not go for something then that is like very calorific like a sauce like i would love to do this with teriyaki sauce but teriyaki is very bad in sugars i want the peanut sauce mm. Mm. could do it with sweet chili no i'd like sweet chili um I suppose, depending what you had, you could even do it with, um, you know, like the M&S honey and mustard dressing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or like a French vinaigrette. The one we get from Marks and Spencer's to go on the potatoes or parsnips. Yeah. That could be a vibe. And, I say with the warmer weather coming up, when we get the warmer weather, mm. this would be nice. Because you could cook your rice, cut all your veggies, have your meats or whatever, like, I don't know, a container of prawns or chicken or whatever in the fridge. And then when you're hungry, literally just go to it and put it together. Mm. So it could be like a nice, this could actually be really good for meal prepping. Oh, I didn't think of that. I can meal prep with this. One day I have prawns with it, one day I have chicken with it. What's this green squashy stuff? That is avocado, the green squashy stuff. It's what I do um, when I make guacamole. Yeah, I'm just tasting it too. I never used to like avocado. And I always remember we went blue water to John Luce Cat. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, but you didn't eat it all, did you? It was like a learning curve. Yeah. Mum had, I think, a bacon sandwich or a sausage, no, a sausage sandwich, I yeah. think, wasn't it? And I smashed avocado on toast with pomegranate seeds. And then I started to get into guacamole. Then I started to make guacamole. And then now I quite. I went for a stage, I really loved smashed avocado on crumpets, didn't I? Or Not toast. crumpets, um, toast. bagels. Yeah. I do think it is an acquired taste, like 
guacamole isn't for everyone. And I know avocado, as I say, because avocado was never a thing that I liked at all. It was always like, ugh. Like mum says, the green mushy stuff. <laughs> but, I just don't mind it. What? It's not hot, mum. It's barbecue. I know, but it's got a little texture, haven't we? No, it's probably the red onions, because they're raw. Oh. I'm doing my best, if not, we'll have it tomorrow. Well, there's plenty of rice to have with the um, gammon steaks I'll get out tonight. What I'm going to put over the rice, just some tin ball. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, if I don't eat all this, I'll put it in the fridge. Yeah, it didn't roast it. No, I won't. I think this is a good portion. But there's a lot there, Shannon, of each bit. Yeah, but that's but the whole... I, I mean, there's not a lot of each bit, but there's a lot of different bits there. Yeah. But I think that is the purpose of a burrito bowl. Like, there's oh. a lot, so maybe you feel fuller for longer. And what's this called? A burrito bowl. Oh. So to get this, would you have to go to a Mexican restaurant? Yeah, because in oh. essence, this is kind of like everything you would get in a burrito. Oh, right. But without the wrap. Right. Mmm. I don't think that's too bad. I think this would be something I could easily whip up for like a perfect lunch at work, mm. like a healthy lunch. The creme fraiche is a nice cooler. Again, I was never really one for creme fraiche before, but now oh, I always used to think, Ugh. That's a bit bland though, isn't it? Well, it's just kind of like a yogurt in a way, isn't it? But there's no taste to it. Well, no, it's but it's it. to maybe like, if you find it spicy, it's a coolant. Oh. Like on nachos before, I never really used to like sour cream. Now I have like actual salsa, sour cream and guacamole. I can have the whole lot apart from jalapenos. I still can't do them. Mm. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And it's nice because I think you won't feel sluggish after this. Because everything is light, healthy, delicate, and I love sweet corn. Like when I saw sweet corn and tomatoes, I was like, "Yes, yes, please." So all this in a bowl, then. If you went to a Mexican, you have that in a wrap. Hmm. Oh, why were you not going to wrap then? Because it's a burrito bowl. Oh right. Oh, I see what you mean. I think you can get like actual burrito bowls like when you go out. Because obviously, yeah. if people are trying to not have carbs and all that. Hmm. I'll tell you what I would like to add to this. So if you had to pick another, like, veg or salad item to yeah. add to this, what would you add? Uh, teriyaki sauce. So you'd want to change the sauce on it? Yeah, yeah, to give it a bit of flavour. I mean, that's got plenty of flavour. Yeah, but not for me without the salt, innit? No, but the rice is seasoned with salt and pepper. Oh, I can't taste it. Because not everything has to be drowned oh. in salt. Mum is, like, terrible for salt. We'll go to a restaurant, she'll pour the salt on before even tasting, and I'm like, no. We've gone from garlic salt to normal salt. But it never used to be that bad for salt. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you're so dramatic. <laughs> it is not spicy. Chipotle is like barbecue, Mum. <laughs> I 
I would like to add to this cucumber and sliced red pepper. Oh. I think that would go quite nice. You know what? Because you've pushed all your avocado and creme fraiche to the side, which are your cooling agents. You've had enough. You've had enough. Very dramatic today, Mother. No, I'm just thirsty all day. All the time lately. Like you know what? That is a good healthy bowl of food. You're thirsty, but you're drinking wine. No, because I'm going to go and get some juice in a minute. She's thirsty, but she's not used that water bottle that I got her for Mother's Day yet, guys. Oh, God, I'll get that out. <laughs> for hydration. I'm drinking a lot more water, ain't I? Yeah, but I got you a nice snazzy bottle. And a cup, innit? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Well, I don't, I don't know where you get, like... The hotness, whether you are like that with dad. Yeah, but I can't do spicy things. Hey, I can't do spicy things. This ain't spicy though. No, but you're eating that chipotle thing. It's spicy. Oh well, it, it does feel to me. But I'm saying, I I don't know where you get your palate from because dad has a uh, tikka madras and madras and all that. Is that hot? Yeah, I can't do that. Oh right. Dada will have like vindaloo's in that. I can't do that. I don't think he has a vindaloo. Does he? Not anymore, maybe. No. He used to have vindaloo's and foals when I was younger. My God, that's, now what, has a that's the hottest one, isn't it? Is a chicken tikka masala then? Is that hot? No, that's mild. Oh. That's but like my dress is hot. Level. Oh, right. Dada has a madras now. I would have either... A debazia. That's what we like, isn't it? Or a boona. Yeah. I can't really do korma. I've seen the paper though that they reckon that the Indian meals have gone up 50% if you go out for a meal now. Ever since our last Indian takeaway, I, I've not ordered an Indian. No. I've because, not ordered it. Because uh, the man who done it, he was a chef. They did all the, you know, the box sets you get from Morrison's, uh, Mark's, the Indian meals. Mm. And I think Mark's come off best. And it wasn't even a tenner. Two starters, two sides, and whatever. Oh, yeah. Don't like they do the Chinese ones and that. Yeah. People are doing, getting them more. And they, they said in the paper the other day, people ain't going out. They're having fakeaways, whatever they are. Yeah, so fakeaways are like, like where you make a healthy version or you cheat and buy it. Oh, or whatever. whatever. <laughs> because people haven't got the funds to go out. Hmm. But like have you, have you found, though, that when we've been at the cost, because I thought at the flat iron that wasn't too bad, 30 quid each. Because mm. we had four starters, two steaks. Sides. Yeah. Two steaks, a pint of beer and a cocktail. 60 quid. But we don't go out all the time. No. I mean, it may seem like it, and coming up to summer, we will be out a lot, but they're all experience days. They're already, like, paid for. Well, Joe, I think if the money was there, we we would like to eat at different places more, wouldn't we? Hmm. It's just at the moment of this economic or whatever it is, isn't it? But, but that's why I think you appreciate up, it more yeah. when you go out and have it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really want to go back to where we was at the Dali place. Because I know it's £16 for fish and chips, but I really want to try that. You mean Van Gogh? Yeah. Yeah. It must it must be good for them people to queue, isn't it? Mm. Mm. What so, time's your programme? I don't know. I, I couldn't see it on there. It just says Lee Mac 101 Club. Mm. I'm not sure whether it's after... Because that thing's on tonight, Simon Cow again. What's it called? Britain's Got Talent. Is that still going? No, oh, what's the other one he does? X Factor? Oh, yeah, I think it'd be that. I'm not sure. With Amanda. Oh, that's Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. I can't tell you the last time I watched proper telly. I just don't watch telly. No, 
know because there's not there's not normally a lot of stuff on is it i mean i think i pay all the subscriptions like netflix and disney and that you pay your internet so you can have these subscriptions and then you have to pay for a tv license that i didn't even use but you still got to have the tv license to watch it through the signal they reckon isn't it yeah but i don't i see if you know anything about tv licenses please let me know because yeah i thought a tv license was if you watched live bbc yeah yeah so if you don't watch BBC, TV, they got the adverts, so they get the funds. So if you don't watch the BBC, why have you got to have a TV license? Yeah. Let us know, viewers. Just remove the BBC channel off of households that don't want to watch it. Or do it pay per view. If you want to watch something on there, pay five pound for that night. Mm. Yeah. I think the UK just robs you at any point left, right, centre. Yeah. And especially because, as I say, I didn't watch it. I watched BBC on iPlayer, which will be catch-up. Well, that's they'll, probably say, they'll probably say, oh, you need to have it to watch it on that. I pay me Disney+, Plus, me Netflix, me Discovery. Then you have the broadband, obviously, because you have to have the broadband to do that. And then you have to pay for a TV license. My TV never goes on. If it goes on, it goes on for DVDs. <laughs> which you probably won't even go on for that now. I've got a portable DVD player. <laughs> So I'm just like, I don't know. But you would think now in this day and age you could get internet without having a telephone line. Well, I don't know. That's something to do with like BT, it? Yeah. The setup in it. Yeah. No idea. But anyway, I'm guessing on. I started a um, Night Agent last night, so that's my new Netflix series I'm watching. Very, do you very not good. mean Night Manager? Mm. Called Night Agent. Oh. Spooky. Thriller. Action. Oh. Makes a change for me. Well, I'm saying that I give this a solid 10 out of 10. Mum, I don't think so. Not for me, though. Sorry. I'm devastated. I thought that uh, was that really nice. Got some problems there for you, stick. So if you could do that, so you'd have your rice. Yeah. What, like, meat or fish would you have? Salmon. But you'd want a teriyaki sauce. Yeah, not that too faulty. So that instantly makes it more calorific, okay. And then you have... Would you have a sauce on the side, like we had the creme fraiche? Yeah, something with uh, some oomph on it. Maybe like a raita? No, a like a mango yogurt. yogurt or something. Something with a bit of flavour. Yeah, but mum, that's not the purpose of that in the bowl. Oh. That's the cooling agent. Oh. So you could have like a ray eater or something maybe. Oh, yeah. But you couldn't okay. have a ray eater because of the sauce you have. You couldn't have oh. a teriyaki. Do you want to keep picking your teeth? People didn't want to see oh, that. that's sweet yours. And then salad bits. So this has got sweet corn, tomato, red onion and avocado. I don't know whether it's that red onion whether or it's the chipotle things. I said the red onion is got is because it? it's raw. Oh, but surely it's not that. Uh, well, it's raw it. and pickles, so it's crunchy. Oh, well, maybe to take the red onion out then. Would you keep the tomatoes? Yeah. Sweet corn? Yeah. Avocado? No. So what would you, if you take out the avocado and onion, what would you put in? Cucumber and celery, maybe. Oh, celery, nasty. I didn't do celery. Ugh. I would add to that even more. I would add cucumber and red pepper to that. I would have it as it is. Oh, yeah, red add, pepper, yeah. Add to it. Or even if you could blanch some veg prior, tender stem broccoli or green beans. Peas would be nice in that. Well, Put cold. peas in the rice, yeah, yeah, that could be an idea. Buy some peas. Put some green beans in, tender stem broccoli. Love a bit of tender stem broccoli. You could even probably, for a bit of crunch, chop up and put some carrot in there. Or like shred the carrot in ribbons. Yeah, but you know when you go on your holiday? Yeah. They eat a lot of rice and peas out there, don't they? Yeah. And uh, what's that? Oxtail? Yeah, I'll be yeah. happy with that. Be happy with that. Well, I would give mine a 10 out of 10. What are you rating it? Eight. Eight. Okay, it's not too terrible. No. So, this you might see popping up. And this, I think, would definitely be something that I would easily whip up for lunches at work. I'm happy. Mum's clearly not. She's like, her math is on fire. <laughs> but 
But guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment, anything you know about like the TV license mm. and what you think about the burrito bowl. Have you had one? Do you make them? Or what do you think we could change? But yeah, we'll have a little discussion down in the comments box as always. Take care, stay safe as always, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,